Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Good morning, you sleepy boy. This is way too early. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <clears throat> Fix cat. Wait, I have it on. Hello, it is enabled. Is it broken again? I can try turning it off and on. I just restarted it. Hello. I restarted. Uh, Juicy Joey with the Prime Aftal with the 8. Ricey Cup with the Prime. Chaney with the 13. Hello, long time no see. BMD with the Prime. Fixed? Okay. Nice. Ooh, we got Sean too. Hello. We got Mr. Zombhuman. People sad. I saw Zerpocalypse. Premium H2O. Hio Aaron. Uh, is this song? Oh, song is not playing. Whoops. Forgot to turn back song on. <laughs> Any daily questions? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm in the middle of cooking. Ooh, I could go eat. I have not eaten yet. <sighs> when are you going to play Valor with us? Dude, imagine playing Valorant. Imagine having the time and freedom to game. Can it be me? Also, how do you guys like it? With just the middle window open. I, uh, I, I took off my blackout curtains yesterday and I got too lazy to put it back on this morning. <laughs> it looks okay. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be blowing out the stream too much. No windows would still be best? I see. I see. Have you tried the Sony A7S III? I wish. I have not. I'm taking 10 hours to build my... 10 hours to build a Vega? Oh, including a uh, switch looming? You need the sun? I think I do. I think I actually... <laughs> I think I actually have a like vitamin D deficiency. I've been feeling fatigued as of late. So I started taking some pills last night and some gummies. Is that hot chocolate? No, this is cough. This is an espresso pod. Does everyone have a vitamin D deficiency? I think so. With the uh, with everyone staying home too. Iron supplements? No, not iron. I, I took a gummy that has like a bunch of stuff, but it only has a thousand milligrams of vitamin D. And then my dad has like a, he had like a container of pure vitamin D to hit that dank 5,000 something milligrams or whatever the unit is. <laughs> Staying by the window helps with vitamin D. <laughs> Yeah, it's the thing is the windows all the way back there. We'll try this. Have the window up for a change. Um, special gummies, I get it. No, it's just it's just the uh, it's not you guys don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Juicy Joey with the prime, Zway the Doge with the bits, Heffin with the tier one, Kodesh DL. Thank you so much for the prime. I was on 50,000 IU. Huh? Are you sick? You seem sort of sick. I'm not sick. I've just been tired. <laughs> I think my throat hurts too, just from, just from like talking every day to stream. I need to drink more water. Can you do a stream where you point your camera through the hostel block line? I don't know if that's possible. You got the COVID? No, I am COVID free. Have the Cali fires affected you at all? It's not super close to me, but uh, if it doesn't get contained, it could be an issue, but currently no. It's just the air quality here is bad. It is recommended to not go out uh, even more 
because the air, you can like smell the smoke. Air is dry, you probably need a humidifier. Oh, that's what I need, I need a humidifier. My room is super dry. I like my skin after I shower, it's been feeling much, much drier these days. I should buy a humidifier. Any humidifier recommendations? The fire is 40% contained. Oh, that's good. I actually did not keep up with it yesterday. <clears throat> that's good to hear, 40%. Nice. If your skin is feeling dry, just never leave the shower. Okay. Oh my, someone redeemed push-ups. The better ginger, uh, it's too early. Are you here, better ginger? So stoked to see today's build. Picked up the E white version of the first round group white. Nice. Uh, I don't know if they announced. They are supposed to have a second round of group buy. I think after this stream, I don't know if they announced it. I checked the group buy page. Still no time announced, but if you guys missed out on the first round, there is a second round, 200 units opening after this stream. So make sure you guys are following the Discord and the group buy thread if you guys want to join in on this. Oh my, another person claimed push-ups. <sighs> Nick Jimster, are you here? Nick Jimster and the better ginger, are you guys here? I'll pump out the push-ups and then we'll get to the build. Damn it, Nick Jimster's here. Dinner time, thank you so much the Prime sub. Guns, gear gaming with the Prime. Captain OK with the 15 months, thank you, thank you. Damn it, the better ginger's here too. <laughs> All right, 20 push-ups. And then we'll get to the keyboard. Uh, oh my goodness, bitmap with the 20 gifted subs. Holy moly, the designers are in chat. Time to, Time to talk ish about the board. <sighs> Thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day where I get raided by Black Simon. Oh my. Simon, I didn't even know Simon was streaming. Have I streamed so much? I finally overlapped with Simon. Oh my, How, hope you've been well, Simon. I haven't talked to you in a while, it feels like. Hope you stream out well. What did you build today? What'd you do? Any memorable clips from today's Simon stream? But thank you so much for the host, man. Dude, Simon has 161 viewers. Wow, look at this guy. Is he partner yet? Let's check out Black Simon's. Twitch.tv slash Black Simon. Oh, he's not partner yet. Well, he has partner numbers. Maybe if he just streams more, he can get partner. Uh, Wusa, thank you for the tier one. ASDFVJH, thank you so much for the two months. What are the lights in the back called? They're called Astera Titan Tubes. You don't know what they are it's probably best you don't look it up <laughs> all right i'm gonna do 20 push-ups maybe if he stopped loving knobs wait does simon like knobs i thought simon was anti-knob fan anti-knob club all right 20 push-ups
Astera are budget lights? Okay, Jay. Do you see Joey things so for the gift of sub? Thanks, yes, go with the prime. Well, welcome, Simone's viewers. Today we are taking a look at the Alpine 65 prototype. I don't know how many of you guys joined in on this already. How many of you guys intend to join on this? Well, we have here a prototype unit. So this is the packaging. Oh God, what happened here? I'm not entirely sure how final this packaging is. If you care about packaging, but a carrying case. Okay. Is this the new meta? Does everyone just ship out in a carrying case now? I feel like it's been a while since I've seen a board without a carrying case. All right, let's take a look at the carrying case. Feels like a, one of those paper linen materials, kind of like the uh, NK65 carrying case, but it's got the uh, their logo on it. I feel like for the price, a carrying case is only right to include. Carrying case definitely, I feel like is is it's a good mix of practical and uh, functional. Mel sells bells things for the four months. Z3M Bluster with the tier one. C Morton things with the tier one. I don't think anyone buys a uh, carrying case for the aesthetics really. It's just more so, it's very functional and practical. All right, inside. Feels like the plate. We got some case screws. We are recalling out of bed. Packaging is not final, confirmed by Bitmap. Ooh, thank you so much for the level one hype train chat. Ooh, this is not screwed in together. All right, let's take a look at this first. Just proto packaging, they says. Uh, I honestly don't care about a case. I just have to store it somewhere. And let's be honest, I am not taking my keyboard anywhere. That is true. Simon's message for you? But why, why didn't he just DM me? Wait, this is gonna take me to some channel? Huh? That that link did nothing for me. <laughs> yeah, that, that link's not working. All right, I've been told I will be Oh, this is the PCB. I see. All right. Is my desk too dark? That should be better. Let's take a look at the PCB. So this is hot swap. The unit I've been sent. It's got the Alpine logo. USB-C. USB ports on top though, interesting. Looks like it does have per key lighting. Ooh, this was made by Mr. Gondo. We got Gondo's Dink Tree logo. Alpine 65 PCB V1.1 designed by Gondo for Bitmap Designs. Tomorrow I'll release. Nice. 
Did you see Canon Keys just announced their lavender switches? I did not. I'll have to check it out after. Hot swap? Yes, this is hot swap. Your desk mount is still upside down? No. Amber, good morning. Hello. The white tree of Gondor? Yeah. Gondol's got a sick name. Gondolin... Gondolindrum. And he's got a nice logo. Okay, and then we have the case here. Cosmic Cows, thanks for the eight months. Bea with the three months. Thank you, thank you. What? BFF Mike? Who is... Who is BFF Mike? Thank you so much for your first time for gifting and five subs at that too. Thank you so much BFF Mike. Full nylon JWK linear, 65 gold springs. Oh, so it's just another JWK linear. <laughs> All right. We have the Alpine 65. Oh, it's not screwed in. In the flesh. This is a prototype, but from what I've been told, there shouldn't be huge, there shouldn't be major differences from the production unit. What, does this not? Hmm? Oh, the plate came off. So this is their navy color. It's pretty deep. It's on the... Yeah, this is a deep navy. <laughs> deep navy. Desk map command is outdated. Oh, GG. This is the side profile. It's not screwed in, so that's why the gap is currently not screwed in. See the Alpine logo up there. And this, this, uh, this cluster is the talk of the town with this keyboard. We'll see how I feel once it's built up. Other side profile. This is the back. And this is the weight. All right, initial impressions. I don't like how they spill it. Alp. Alpine. Now this is Alp. In. I feel like they should just. I don't know. Alpine. <clears throat> I like their logo. And then they added like funky stuff around. <laughs> I feel like they could have made this weight a little bit cleaner. Uh, this is also just a lot of branding. You got the logo up here, you got the logo back here, and you got the logo down here. You got the same logo three times on the board. I feel like they could have been a little bit more creative, but um, so far machining an anno, I don't think Oh, oh, it comes up. Nothing to dock points off for on that front. Um, whoa, look at this. Look at these edges. Yeah, no, no, like sharp edges on like on certain keyboards. Overall, not too harmful to grip. Not bad. Definitely has some thick bezels. Oh, these bump on this. These feet look different. These do not look like the traditional. Oh no, they are. It's got big feet. 
Spam wrong for Simon on call. What do you mean Simon on call? Simon wants to be on the stream? All right, let's take a look at the internals. Man, this proto's been through some rough stuff. But designed in San Diego, California. Ooh, pretty local. It's got Alpine engraved internally. This is a gasket mounted keyboard. Ah, of course it's not a 2020 keyboard unless it comes with a foam. It's got a foam for underneath the PCB. Sorry, underneath the plate. No, underneath the PCB and there's one for underneath the plate as well. Um, and this is the aluminum plate. So some things to note. The gaskets came pre-installed on this unit, but on the actual unit, you will have to install gaskets yourself, I believe. I don't think they will come pre-installed. Um, I think that's okay. But this does have gaskets. You guys will also notice there's a giant text that says Alpine. The logo will still be there on the PCB. The text will be removed for the production unit PCB if you cared for how your PCB looked, but it is something to note. And I think that's it. Check out this top piece. It does have some hook marks, but this is a prototype unit. This is kind of gnarly but I wouldn't say it's anything super out of the norm for a prototype unit. Hopefully it's a lot more controlled for uh, production units. Okay. <clears throat> can you compare it to the Vega? Sure, we can compare it to a bunch of stuff after I build it. It's a Sunday. All right, let us, anything you guys wanna see before I start building this up? I will say this foam, is, it feels a little bit stiffer than the foam from the Vega. I mean, not that it's like, it's firm, but it is slightly stiffer. I don't know if, the, if that means, I mean, it probably means it's a different material, but it's on the stiffer end for foam. All right. USB cut out from inside. Oh, the USB cut out is entirely on the top. I'm wrong for Simon on call. Do you really want Simon on call? Is he even in chat? I don't see him. Invis, thank you so much for gifting Simon a sub. Cracker with the Prime. Jesus Christ, thank you so much for the Prime sub. And BFF Mike, thank you so much for subscribing yourself with the tier one. I satisfied things for the three months. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. All right, let's get to the build. I have been told this PCB is blank currently. So we're gonna have to do some good old QMK flashing. Let me bring up my toolbox, share my desktop. Boom. This does have a physical, yes, I did see the physical reset button. Simon couldn't type in chat after he raided you because he wasn't sub? Dude, imagine. Imagine. Where is the reset? Okay. Uh... I'll 
alpine flesh okay ooh RGB is lighting up now. Is this already ported to VIA? I don't think it's in VIA yet. But hopefully it's in VIA. <laughs> but it looks like currently it is not. Yeah, it's not. It's not testing. It's not finding it. Has not been ported to VIA. Gondo is working on it. All right. I see, but the, the RGB does work now. Ooh la la. Does the background auto refresh? Yes, it does. Do you guys want to just stare at my wallpaper until it changes? <laughs> Can you imagine guys? 93.02% of the year is over. 2020 is almost about to end making me not regret buying it making me regret not buying the sport well there is a round two opening Civiz. drop jj things from the tier two sub gub dump with the four pole boy live with the tier one sub blue toggles things from the six months okay it's hot swap i only have one pcb i'm not gonna test it if it breaks, it breaks. <laughs> Let's get to stabs. Okay. Uh, is this layout fixed? Oh, God bless. This layout is fixed. So we're going to need left shift, full backspace, enter. Uh, is this a... I'm going to guess this is a 625 spacebar. Yeah, 625 spacebar. All right. Where can we get that wallpaper? It's from Wallpaper Engine. It is for PC only. Sorry, Mac users. Are more th are things more sold out than usual right now due to COVID? I don't think COVID. Uh, I guess COVID has affected inventory. Things are getting restocked slower. But even without COVID, things are generally in stock for this hobby. Full backspace. Enter. Left shift and 625. Wallpaper engine goaded? Yeah. Once you discover a wallpaper engine, it's hard to go back. You wonder why it's just not part of, why it's just not readily available. <laughs> you mean generally out of stock? Yes. I made my wallpapers a HD aquarium. Ooh. Okay, it's gonna take too long for this year to complete. Let's go back to this scene. <laughs> I'll change it when it resets. Or when, when, when it changes. When I noticed it has changed. <sighs> Hi dad, bye dad. All right, goodbye. Sub C breezy things went for the five months. Bacon and tuna? Ooh, with a tier one. Beagle bear with a three. Scan FPS with the prime. Thank you, thank you. Can you pip your wallpaper so we can watch it? Uh, <laughs> I guess. That's sure um, display capture hold on a minute
All right, picture in picture. I'll leave my QMK up there. Oh, that's as big as it gets. Hmm, I'm surprised it takes this long for it to... I've, I've never actually, like, observed this. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't update as regularly as I thought it does. It seems like it should have ticked 0 0.01 at least so far. Key Cult just announced number 265. Huh? Wasn't that announced a couple days ago? Oh, wait. I should not click Discord right now. <laughs> All right, this is 205G0, yes. Eight hundred black brass, yes, that was announced on their stream. Jan Faye, thank you so much for the four Easy. months. Seth Wilch, thank you so much for the tier one sub. It'll probably update faster than these tabs get done. Okay, buddy. How far out are you booked for commission bills? I will not be opening until next year. I'm definitely booked out for the rest of this year. I do feel like the lighting's better today. Maybe having this window, I guess having this window available is helping quite a bit. I like, oh no, I know why. It's because I have a white, this is why, okay. It updates every 52 minutes? Oh, it's gonna be a while. I like the halo effect that has on you very saintly. Ah, I see. Point zero one percent of a year is almost an hour. Really? Point zero one percent of a year is an hour? Dang. All right. Who will update faster? Wait, it's ten forty six though. So it's probably gonna update faster than me finishing stabs. If it updates around every hour, it's pretty close to hitting the next hour soon. <laughs> What sweater are you wearing today? This is from Adder Error. That wig looks scuffed? It is. This is a prototype. I'm guessing they played around with it. It's got finger marks. Ooh, is this a... <sighs> but yeah, it did come pretty scuffed. Internally... Uh, externally, there's marks. It's already starting to patina. Yeah. Mr. Soran, hello. How was your morning stream? Wait, did you stream today? I thought I thought I saw you say last Gunpla stream. What was that yesterday? Self promo. Oh, that was today. Yeah, I was right. I'm playing Clash in 10 minutes. What's Clash? Watch more ASMR thing in three months. Do you use the same te technique for lubing screw and stabs versus clip and stabs? Yes, same technique. Just Kevin, thank you so much for the bits. What's the wallpaper link? I'll get that for you after the stream. <laughs> Janfei, thank you so much for the four months. Clash of Clans? Wait, isn't that a mobile game? P 
People still play Clash of Clans? Oh, League of Legends. Oh. Clash of Clans? Wait, that game's still alive? Yeah, okay, I got it. Clash and League, I see. Who's on your team? Yupcock. Okay. Okay, buddies. Is Yupcock still a thing on Twitch? Do people still spam Yupcock? Do you recommend GK61? Yeah, it's not a, it's, it's a, not a bad first starting off board. I'm waiting for the RG Hinu. Huh? What? <laughs> as long as Michael streams, Yepcock lives. Does Michael spam Yepcock? That's not how you read it? Oh, how do you read it? RG, RG Hainu? What's RG Hainu? <laughs> what? Have you ever thought about doing a B word keyboard build? B word keyboard build? What is a forbidden B word? Vintage? B word? Keyboard build? Bovine? <laughs> Blin X Army, things are from the tier one sub. Watch more. Oh, I already answered that. The B word is banned content. <laughs> Unable. Oh, I see what you're saying. Wait, there's no way I could do it that way. There's no way I could build it. Wait, I don't think you have to go that. Is B word actually just banned? Wait, I feel like that's a little. Ugh. I guess in this context, it would also apply. How would I actually do it though? <laughs> One whole day is only 0.27397, I see. Also, chat. Are you, have you guys seen Startup? While I was lubing these switches yesterday night, at the good old midnight hour, I started Startup finally on Netflix. It's pretty good so far. I I <laughs> I watched three episodes yesterday night while lubing switches. I hear it's ending today. Today's this the. Uh, drama finale series finale so i would recommend i just finished today yeah my mom was my mom's been watching it she was watching the final episode while i went downstairs <laughs> um wait what alt final season comes out today oh it comes out today dude Also, One Piece yesterday was hella dank. So good. I'm getting cucked by these one week wait times. When your mom is into a show, you know it's probably good. Yeah, when my mom is into a... If she's into a show that's something I might watch, it has to be good. <laughs> That's why you stack your episodes? Yeah, but then I have nothing to watch then. The Mandalorian has, ooh, I have not binged Mandalorian yet. Waiting for it to end. The next episode of Mandona, the Zoro animations are bonkers, dude. For real though. And just a just a plot. The 
The One Piece Wano arc plot is so dank right now. Goda is just too insane at how he weaves the stories all together. And his creativity is just off the charts. If money isn't too much of an issue, what's a high-end 60-60% I can build as everyday workhorse? Vega or Feel? I would personally take the Vega over the Feel. If money is not an issue, I would also then probably take the Key Cult over the Vega. When is the last time you played StarCraft? Uh, I played a bit of Heart of the Swarm. <sighs> Is it four or five years ago now? <laughs> four or five years ago. Lightning Keyboards, hello. Wait, where's the FN key on VIA? The FN key on VIA uh, is generally the MO keys, the momentary toggles. And you can choose between which layer you want to momentarily toggle to. But MO and then parentheses, a num the layer number, that is effectively a FN key. Are Gateron yellow is good for a budget build, yes. Uh, Kevsters, things for the Prime, Switch Clicker, things for the Tier 2 for 3 months, thank you. Did you like Troy High School? My cousin went and he said everyone there was try hard. <laughs> Read the QMK via docs, please. Dude, Urban. <laughs> People don't even read? Simple Discord rules? You think they'd read? <laughs> let's, let's take a vote. How many people have actually... There might even not... There might... I haven't heard QMK docs being mentioned in a while. There's no need for QMK docs anymore, right? Like Via has made it, Via has made reprogramming your keyboard so easy. There's no real need to turn to the docs. Cause initially people would go to the docs cause you have to set, you used to have to set up an environment and then just like figuring out how to get the layout of the, the matrix written. <laughs> And then Configurator came along. Configurator kind of made the docs a little bit obsolete, but you still had to use the toolbox. And now Via just does it all. <laughs> I will also say uh, the QMK docs is not too bad. It looks clean, but I don't know if people read it anymore. <laughs> it is so enough nowadays since Via has almost all functions. Yeah, the only thing VIA doesn't have as much as QMK does, I feel like, that's practical, is just full RGB control. But I don't even know if that's all that necessary, considering how many boards come out with uh, our like, underglow capabilities or per kit. Pepo DS. Imagine reading, I followed Merlin's video. <laughs> Merlin's videos are nice too, if you want to, if you want a visual guide to follow. Mr. Pre-Leo, thank you for four months. Thank you, thank you. I read the QMK doc says this is the first time I have, I have heard of Via. Mm, that's good on you. Or maybe you just haven't kept up with the times. <laughs> You can make us all read the docs by turning the raw text into a typing test. <laughs> Maybe I should put out an audiobook. I should put out audiobooks where I just read, read keyboard documents. I'll just read all of the QMK docs while having some typing sounds in the background. Maybe you can listen to it while you drive. I'll, uh... I honestly think someone should read Geek Hack. 
If someone turned Geek Hack into a audiobook, no cap, I would listen to it. I want the audiobook reader to read everything. You can, uh, you can probably leave out the timestamp. Maybe have like timestamps come out if there's like a major jump in time, but like, start off with Geek Hack post, whatever. Title of Geek Hack post. Submitted by username, date, I guess their Geek Hack status, how many posts they've had. <laughs> And they just go and read the threads. Every comment they go, username this said, da -da 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 -da. username this said. Da -da -da -da. I would actually listen, listen to it. Because I yet still have not gone through all of Geek Hack. And it would make it a lot easier to consume. You got. <laughs> You gotta have voices for each Geek Hack user though? Oh god, that'd be a pain. I don't know if I want that though, Zekin. Do I really want... Some people I don't think deserve a good audiobook narrator. <laughs> a good one. And I feel like... I feel... <laughs> it's also weird because like I know some people and then just hearing a different voice Casey MYK thinks we're for the bits. Or maybe this could be a crowdfunded Kickstarter project. We will get everyone to voice their own parts. You can hear the banter between keycap set designers and the 40s group in the flesh over an audiobook. You could hear the passion and people's desires for certain things. I would also like the, actually, I guess there's no way to document it. Lightning reading his own post? Dude, I would listen to an audiobook of Lightning. Well, I mean, his posts and comments, right? How much do I have to donate for you to read 40s users comments on the Serica thread on Geeker? No, 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 no. I don't want to be called too toxic, you know. I don't want another PSA to come up on ArmK. Taya types voices 40% discord, 40% gets offended. I don't want that kind of PSA. What if they're... <laughs> Can you imagine if the keyboard hobby got so big? There are live readings of geek, old geek hack posts. Live action. <laughs> live action, live reading, open mic of old geek hack posts. One day down the road, the hobby will be so big. You can go to a cafe and there's going to be a live reading of the Serica 2 thread. And there will be people acting the F-U-C-C part and there will be people acting Zabumon's part. Spoken word night but geek hack? <laughs> I would go to that. <laughs> 
Maybe to, maybe big to the point, big box stores like Best Buy will have enthusiast stuff in stock. Will you dremel some switches for use with a north facing LED board? Are you asking me if I will? I probably never will. <laughs> I don't think I ever will. I don't care for in switch LEDs that much to go through the effort of shaving off the switch housing to accommodate for GMK keycaps. I will just not use <laughs> LED. <laughs> I come back from a long, long shower, still haven't finished lubing stabs. All right, we have a lot of stabs today. Do you still like Thaki sounding boards or do you prefer a different sound? Thok is still goat for me. Nothing beats a good Thaki board. TBH IMO. Maxim Dark, thank you so much for the Prime sub. All right, one final stab. What other sounds do people look for in KB? Some people like a good clack. Some people like a good click. Some people like a good How would you characterize silent switches? <laughs> a thought? Wait, Chris, why are you up? Shouldn't you be asleep? Hello. A rasp? How do you, what's the, what's a word to represent silent switches? Silent switches equals plep? What? I don't know if silent switches have a thock. I mean, they do have a bit of thock, but I don't think thocks characterize silent switches. Kiloton, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I would say silent represents them pretty well. Has Lull Stacks told you about his method on how to check for stab ticking? He has not. Ooh, that's a lot. Zizora, thank you so much for the Prime sub. If you're looking, if you're still looking for a film holder, oh yeah, I've seen the Romworks one. I am aware of the Romworks one. I did purchase one recently. 
let me show you guys. It is fitting for my name. Um, I purchased a film holder. <sighs> Doubters lost? Wait, wait, wait. Ah, yes. Yes. Someone linked me on Instagram after my my account went live. There's this cool guy who sells some interesting film stuff. Is this going to leak anything? All right. He goes by the name Jason De Freitas. And you can purchase some uh, succulent holders. You can purchase a toilet paper holder. And he actually has a portra potty, like a legit portra potty. So I bought one. Oh, it's sold out now. What? It's sold out, but he also makes the uh, STLs available if you want to print it yourself. Um, you, <laughs> there's also a Roly Flex toilet paper dispenser if you guys have pets. But yeah, someone linked me him. Man, I guess I got lucky. I bought his last one then because it was available. I purchased one. But yeah, this Porsche Potty holds five rolls of 120 and five rolls of 35 mil. So I bought one waiting for that to come. They're all 3D printed, but from the pictures, it looks like it's decent quality. The, uh, the actual like object is 3D printed and then he probably prints whatever uh, like film stock you want for the uh, aesthetic touches. And then he probably glues it or something, but yeah, pretty nice. There is an actual portrait potty. <laughs> I had to purchase it. Yeah. Stop stalling. Okay. Stop trying to make me buy film. Dude, get into film. <clears throat> Can we have a preview of your Wait, it's live, Hill Aaron. Exclamation portrait. Uh, screws. Wow, no insta plug on street. What do you mean? It's literally command. It's a command. Exclamation portra. Yeah, Darren Lim, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Any feeders in chat? Feeders? What? Oh, cat. Cat food feeders? Another stream, hello Geo. What was that guy's website? Jason De Freitas. Jason D E F R E I T A S dot com. How would anyone feed the cats when you can make them 20 push ups? What the heck? Okay, Dora. Another window on 93. Oh yeah, this is my QMK window. It's just to prove to you guys, it is my actual desktop. I don't know, it seems weird if I just have a counter up. Is it? Oh wait, it's already past 11. It is still on point zero two. Shouldn't it have changed? Maybe it doesn't go by the hour. I'm not too sure. You 
It hasn't been an hour since I showed it off, right? Has it been an hour since I started streaming? I mean, since I started stabs? Because I showed off... I think it was still 0 0.02 when I checked. When I showed off QMK. Yes, it's been over an hour. Okay. Correct. We hot top today? Yeah. Interestingly enough. Oh, I guess because there's the foam underneath. There's no real need for the standoffs, huh? Okay. All right, after all this raving about cream pockets from Lol's Dax and his game, I've decided to try it out myself. This is tight. <laughs> Wait a minute, why is it not? What? You should put some switches in the plate first. Oh, I got it in. I got it in. We Gucci. Okay, so from what I understand, cream paka. It's just a uh, novel keys cream stem in the alpaca housing. I used the stock alpaca spring. And I did use TX films for this. A cream paca? Yeah. Is it cream paca or cream paca? Ooh, question. Do you guys say alpacas or alpacas? What is the official way to say it? Alpaca or alpaca? I've heard both. Mm, you might like this, uh, Chris, because it is using the cream stem and it has a longer switch. From what I've heard, cream packas, cream pockas have a, uh, it's got a very nice clack. And it's also pretty smooth. Packa? If it thocks, I'm down. <laughs> cream packas in palm are amazing. It's pronounced trash. Alpaca dookie, okay, buddy. Alpaca. Alpaca. I say paca. P aca. Okay, it's paca. So it's a cream. If you say alpaca, it's a cream paca. Okay, I was right. Cream paca. Ooh, wait. Choto a minute. Let's 
let's see if this sound is enough for me to make me ignore the fact this has reduced travel. What the fudge? Is this wire bent? Something's ticking on the space bar. There I go. I know what's wrong. <laughs> I know what's wrong. 93.03, there we go. All right. We have a problem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this true for all the stabs? No. I hope this is not the case with pr oh no. I hope this is not the case with production units. Can someone tell me what's wrong? Something is incorrect. I'm pretty sure I installed the plate the right, yeah, the plate is installed the right way. What is wrong? Yes, the cutouts are incorrect. You're supposed to have the wire exposed and not the screwing part. This is fine. This is not fine. My wire is getting caught by the plate. Can you flip the stabs? I cannot flip the stabs. Stabs are only installed one direction. You see how I'm seeing the screw bit instead of the wire? This plate cutout is incorrect. Same goes for the enter key. Backspace is fine. Um, <laughs> well, I hope this is fixed for production. I was not told anything about the plate for... regarding this. I guess I still build. <laughs> I guess I continue to build then. Because I was wondering why it felt so off. <laughs> um, I don't own a Dremel. I could file it off, but I'm not going to file off four cutouts. It'll take me a while to file. Could I f no, I can't just force it to be installed the other way. I guess we'll continue. Let's see if I can type. Okay, question chat. Should I use this phone? Yes or no? Do I use this mid-piece phone? Yes or no? I guess stab's done. <laughs> I don't know if someone's keeping count, but stabs are done. I mean, it's, the ticking is from it hitting this, the plate. <sighs> are you done? Yeah, I can't do much about the stabs. It's gonna tick no matter what I do. All right, chat has voted yes for the phone.
오소 해버 컴비트윈 피쉬비 언드 플레이드 포어 컴페리슨 레이터 Keycult says they restock every month. I think if I buy it and I don't like it, I can get MSRP for $265. I'm not too sure what's going to happen once Keycult actually starts pumping out. Mr. Actual Glacier, hello. All right, no soldering today, so let's get to sponsor time while I plug in switches. First sponsor that we have is Dixie Mac. Head on over to dixiemagcom slash types. GMK80082 is officially live as of today. Go check it out. Uh, it has the new blue standard kit. A new accent colorway has been released for the 8008. But of course, the original pink is still also available. Check out GMK002. <clears throat> GMK Think Caps also still running until the 13th. I do have a discount code with Dixie Mac using code SWEET TAY at checkout. It saves you 5% off in stock items. Yes, 80082. The next sponsor that we have is KBD Fans. Head on over to kbdfans.com. Check out the KBD67 Lite. Still no word if I'm going to be receiving a unit or not to show off, but KBD fans is where I recommend a lot of new folks to start off as they are one of the few sites to have things in stock generally. And they're on the more affordable side. Mm. Ross thinks one for the bits. Did the Vega also have foam between PCB and plate for comparison? I believe I had foam installed. I don't remember actually what I did, but the VOD is up. The next sponsor that we have is Key Cult. Head on over to keycult.com. Number 265 raffle has been announced on Tuesday. It'll be open for eight hours. Make sure you guys are in the Key Cult Discord to be notified as quickly as possible. Also sign up for their newsletter. <sighs> but they make fantastic high-end custom mechanical keyboard kits using a Key Cult board right now. Next we have Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.xyz. Serica 2 live. I have purchased one. Don't be like me. Don't make regrets. Purchase a Serica set. GMK Yuri still live and JTK Grizzian as well. And of course, we have the Olivia NK65 available for pre order as well. The full shebang comes with keycaps, switches keyboard, carrying case, cable, for a pretty darn good value. Check out the Olivia 65. Where is the Serica 2 shill tweet? Did I forget? <laughs> the novel keys does not tweet. It makes me hard, it makes it hard for me to share stuff. If I haven't, I'll shill it. None of these sponsors, they don't share their calendars with me. It feels bad. Uh, JTK Grizzian is closed? Okay, my bad. JTK Grizzian is closed. The I do have a discount code with Novel Keys using code T 
Hey Hockeys at checkout saves you 5% off in stock items. The next sponsor that we have is Prime Keyboards. Head on over to primekb.com slash datatypes. You can pick up some desk key switch films. You can pick up some silent alpacas, Durock stabilizers. Check out primekb.com slash datatypes. Mr. Mike has been summoned. Hey now, don't blame me. Okay, Mr. Mike. I have been telling Mike he needs more of a Twitter presence. I've been telling all my sponsors that. <laughs> I, I do think, that, okay, question chat. Do you guys use Twitter? I've been more active on, how, how important is Twitter still for keyboards? Twitter, yes or no? Is Twitter not important for you guys? Do you guys use Instagram more? Oh, it's pretty, oh, it's actually leaning towards no. Twitter is for brain farts. <laughs> Zerboid orb, thanks so much for the prime. Oh God, okay. Well, now I can't, now I have no backing to my claims. I guess my vendors don't need to work on Twitter presence. <laughs> uh, where was I? The next follower that we have is SwitchMod. Head on over to switchmod.net slash types. GMK key running very soon. Check it out. And it's also where I get all of my lubricants from. Highly recommend SwitchMod lubes. Willing to buy time? Dude, same lightning. I have been, time has been a something. Every day feels too short as of late. <sighs> so much to do, not enough time, not enough space, not enough resources. It feels bad. Um, and last but not least, we have Mr. Zeal. Head on over to zealpc.net slash types where you can pick up some fancy switches like Telios V2s, Zelios V2s, Xylent V2s, and hopefully a clicky switch soon. You sound old, Nathan. I'm old. An anonymous tier, things are the bits. Johnny TV, thanks for the tier one sub. Do you say Sag like badge or Sadga? I say Sag like badge. Wait, who's, I've never heard someone say Sag like Sadga. The only time I've heard Ga is, that's for Pepega. I think Pepega is the only one where you say it like Ga. There is, Christopher Yi says it like Sadga, really? No way. I remember Chris saying Okagi. He says Okagi. But that's a different emote. Sadga? Is Sadga the new the wave? Is that what I need to be saying to keep up with Twitch? Chris is an OP streamer. Chris is now on the level where he can dictate Twitch culture. I gotta keep up. If Chris is saying Sadga, I gotta say Sadga. I know, uh, I know K3 Soju says, he says Sag Blad and I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. What is Sag Blad? Why does he add ballot? Well, he adds the word ballot at the end. But he says it as Sag Blad. I'm getting too old. I don't know what the latest memes are anymore. You're not hip anymore? <laughs> I never was hip though for Twitch. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> Twitch culture is so quickly changing. 
it's hard to keep up. Maybe I should hire a Twitch expert next year. Where their job is to just watch Twitch streamers. Keep up with the latest trends so I can still be somewhat relevant and bond with the kitties. I can be your meme manager. Wait, do you spend a lot of time on Twitch though, Glarsis? I don't think I've really heard you. I don't know if I've heard many memes or seen many memes from Glarsis. Glarsis is funny, but I don't know if, if, if he, I don't know if you do a lot of memes though, right? Ballad is a Sag Ballad is a song? Oh. Doctor Who just discovered Bofa? Man, Doctor Who getting clipped on the daily. <laughs> Glarsis is the meme? Hey now, don't call someone a meme. That's rude. Spicy tomatoes, thanks for the tip. Suggestions for a good beginner board. Depends on your budget. NK65 Entry Edition is a very enticing price point though. Uh, you can also check out tons of cheap options at KBD Fans. Ramakara is currently live. Retails for $160. But it's a nice board. Nathan, please rotate your desk mat. No. Pepeg Sadga. Glarsis is king. To be fair, Glarsis has himself as a desk mat, so I think he embraces it. Oh! Wait, is Mr. Novel Key still here? Did you see my message, novel, Mr. Mike? <laughs> when will you be unboxing a 20k Pokemon? Okay, buddy. I am not gonna spend 20k on Pokemon cards. <laughs> not that I even have 20k to blow. If I did, I am not spending it on Pokemon cards. <laughs> hey Nathan, do you, hey Teha, do you own an Islander set? Good question. In theory, I do. In reality, it's just been a tracking label that hasn't updated for the past month. Just Velaris things over the prime. But I do know people have received theirs already. I am just in the unfortunate batch that has not yet made it to the States yet. <sighs> it's cause our kits are stuck in US customs. Are they still stuck in customs? I don't, I don't, I'm not in the TKC server. Uh, I did see some screenshots saying that there are delays, but. According to my email on Friday to them, yes. All right, that's good to hear. I mean, I'd rather it be stuck in customs than it being stolen by pirates, you know? Still haven't received thermal. Oh, my thermal, yeah, I have no update on my thermal either. What would pirates do with keycaps? They could do so much with keycaps. Okay. 
Let's see if the PCB works. Okay, at least the PCB works. Do you think it's important to not use words with such harsh connotations when reviewing a product? Is it better to instead use neutral words for your baseline of describing a board that you find undesirable? Uh, I don't think so at all. I mean, depends on <laughs> it depends on what you want to do with your platforms right do you think it's important to not use words with such harsh connotations i don't think i've used harsh connotations often but i will point out negatives and i wouldn't say i'm afraid to point out negatives um if it's something that could like potentially ruin a company, maybe that's better reserved just for a private DM off stream. But uh, it's not like my channel is dependent on sponsors. I don't want to run a channel where it's dependent on sponsors. Um, I I honestly don't care if like <laughs> I I do a sponsor stream and then they choose to never work with me again. That's perfectly fine with me. Um, yeah, and especially with keyboards too. It's not like we're, it's not like we're dealing with, um, we're not dealing with like corporate stuff. It's like mostly on an individual basis. If I don't like it, I'll say I don't like it. Yeah. This isn't a TechTuber channel. I, I will also say, I mean, since I've been doing a lot of sponsor stuff, um, all the sponsored things I've taken, with the exception of, with the expect, with the exception of like, okay, clearly I'm not, I'm taking the sponsorship because of financial reasons. Like I've done some like off-brand stuff. Outside of that, anything keyboard related, I have yet to be paid monetarily to say something um, as i as i mentioned i always all the sponsors sponsored builds i've taken i if they don't let me be honest i don't take it novel keys corporate would like to speak to you yeah novel keys is big corporation they are big they are they're out to get money from you they have unethical practices I hear a Corey is kept in a cage and Mr. Mike whips him every day to work 200%. <laughs> yeah. Would you take a Razer sponsor? I would take a Razer sponsorship, depending on the amount. <laughs> My kind of company. <laughs> All right, question chat. We just need to assemble this now. Do we use this bottom phone? Yes or no? Actually, I might have to. No, I don't think I have to actually. I could just rest it here without it. Do we use this bottom phone? Yes or no? Oh, chat says yes. All right, I guess I'm using all the foam today. So this goes up top. Mm, 
I am noticing I'm noticing these uh these pins. I'm going to guess. Oh, okay, it's for. Does this do much? These pins are rather large. Hold on. Oh, it is it is surprisingly pretty secure. Once it's in there, there's a slight a slight room, but it's not a whole bunch. Okay, I guess that does work. Do I do this? Or maybe I do this. Hmm. I don't think I need to do... I'm gonna go with my original method. Let's put this here. And then let's put this over it. And then now we just gotta... Screw the sim. <clears throat> Panda, thank you so much for the three months. What do you think EPBT sat? Oh, do you think EPBT sat will go well with a blue Vega? Yes. Amaro T, thank you so much for the nine months. Dipatome, things were before you got here four months. Did you find your oblivion space bar? I did, yes. I finally found it. I have mistakenly put it in my dual shot case as a viewer. Yeah, someone mentioned it earlier. Okay, maybe this is not the maybe this is not the move. <laughs> because this USB port is up here. Maybe we have to go the other way. No, I just need to compress it like crazy, huh? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good way to do this so I don't get flamed. Tyler, hello! Just need to be compressed like crazy. I guess it does. Hmm. Just wondering if compressing it is enough to. I guess it is. Jace, Jasif, Rock. Things went for the prize. Uh, and this is using hex. Ah, I should have taken out the uh, the appropriate. Let's try this one. Are you ever going to try out the U80 without the standoffs? Uh, maybe later this month. <laughs> I have still got many builds to clear out. No time for personal stuff yet. I've got a lot of personal boards to build. But uh... Bitmap address the stab cutout issue. Uh, if that's linking to a server channel, probably won't work. I am in too many discords. <laughs> yeah, if you could post a screenshot. Didn't you want a flex? Yeah, I have a flex Virgo to build. I have a ogre to build. I have a, what else do I have to build? 
I've got a Veracity Steel Normal Force to build. Oh, there's a picture. Okay, that's nice. Would have been nice <laughs> to have the scent for the stream though. Silence, silenced VII. I think so much for the prime. Rasty seal is so nice. Do you prefer adding foam underneath PCB, adding foam between PCB and plate? Both or none at all? Mm, ideally, none is <laughs> preferable, right? I want the build process to be, in my opinion, as mini minimal as possible. What stabs are you using? Duroc Stabilizer, V1. Any keycap suggestions for Romer G switches? There are none. Romer G uses a proprietary stem because gotta have everything proprietary and they are incompatible with traditional keycaps. The only, I don't even know of anyone making custom Romer G keycaps. <laughs> Romer G should not exist. Okay, looks like it has been compressed enough. Nice. All right. What keycap set to put on this chat? Do you clean your stab lubing brushes? If so, how? I I don't clean them super often anymore, but I'll usually just run it under a hot soapy water bath. I mean, my brushes are constantly in use. And yeah. Obliv you guys actually want me to use Oblivion for this today? White keycaps, a hunger set. What keycap set? Hago Moro Alphas. Mm. Mm. Yes, I have seen the update. I I just I I addressed I addressed it on stream. <laughs> yeah. Infinity versus GMK. GMK for me. You didn't even say. Hago Romo, damn it, I always say Hago Moro. Hago, Hago Romo. <laughs> just curious, why have you been using 3TO3 on linears just to experiment? I've been using 3TO3 on linears that I think are okay with, li uh, with it. For example, I think the uh, alpaca housing cream combo, I don't think 205 is necessary. It's pretty smooth for my taste. I've used it on the creams in the previous build because I wanted those to break in a bit quicker. I moved those very lightly on the Vega, I think. Future Katsu, thanks for the two months. I don't own dots.
dots. Oh, wait. All right. I think people were requesting... Is this what you guys want? You guys want me to use this? <clears throat> Imagine not having dots feels bad. Okay, buddies. What is up with the layout on this? Right. Don't choke on the test. Uh, <laughs> when you guys vote today, please do keep in mind the space bar might not return properly. It won't return properly. ZX. I don't even know if I could even trigger it. I'll have to see during actual typing use. One new key cap? I guess I could. for this board over there is a round two happening i believe chat was saying 9 p.m today i don't know if it was est or pst but there are an extra 200 units being released for the round two okay i think that's it 9 p.m pst all right someone has spoken in chat escape Then we ran things for two months. Mitchell TTV with a two months. The level one match coming for the six months. Very important questions. What important question? Have you ever tried the McRib? Dude, of course. Of 
course I've tried the McRib. Dude, I have... I have spent too much of my life in a McDonald's. You bet I tried a McRib. Oh, wait! Oh, this doesn't have alpha space. It might, it might actuate. <laughs> My streamer. McRib is back. Have you had a McRib and a Shamrock Shake? I have. I don't think I've tried a Shamrock Shake. On... The last time I tried a Shamrock Shake was probably high school though. <laughs> We just go triple code. We are going triple code. Blue, red. Oh wait, I'm just kidding. We're not going triple code. All right, we're gonna mirror this over here. And over here, we'll do, oh God. <laughs> what do I even put here? It doesn't align with a row perfectly. Do I align this to- Oh my goodness, Alex Sotos? Two rays in one stream? Wait, Alex, you streamed so early today, what? Thank you so much for the host. Man, this is how you know I've been streaming too much. <laughs> I got raided by Alex and Black Simon. We don't generally align times. But thank you so much for the host, Alex. Hope you had a good stream. Hope it went well. We are taking a look at the Alpine 65 prototype today. You guys came at a good time. I'm about to show off the final build. Uh, I guess I'll just go. Yeah, I don't think it matters what. Is this it? Have we completed the build? Prediction class? Okay, buddy. I don't like the prediction class. Got any artisans to match? Ooh, I don't think I have any artisans that match Oblivion. Nicely. Make an official prediction class. <laughs> All right. We have finished the build. The Alpine 65 prototype with GMK Oblivion and the Hoggle Romo Alphas. Egem Elise, thank you so much for the nine months. Let's show off the USB port. Maybe this part. Oh, whoops, desktop is still showing. <laughs> All right, it's just too hard to, uh, <laughs> too hard to show. But the USB port looks good. Could be a little bit better, but it's pretty good. It is kind of deep. Will my okay? This one will fit, I think. Yeah. Ooh, but it's definitely tight. I mean, if you if you've got a thick fat cable, good luck getting your custom in there. Hopefully, you guys have recessed USB-C cables. But if it's thick, good luck, my dudes. All right. Let me, let us get the uh, YouTube screenshots. Do we have mods? Can we get the words per minute bots live? WTF is that USB placement? Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the USB placement. I mean, you could put a port wherever you want. <laughs> I don't think it's all that bad. All right. Three, 
two, one, boom. I hate right USB-C ports. I personally prefer center. I think I'm a center kind of guy. Centered USB is best on all layouts. Put a port below spacebar. What? Let us weigh this keyboard. As this is a new board to make an appearance on our stream. All right, that's been teared. This keyboard completely built with the foam. Four pounds, 5.9 ounces. 1,982 grams. It does have a brass weight. So this is heavy. Side camera looks a little hazy, foggy. Uh, it might, it's probably overexposed right now. Oh. Can you provide some, <laughs> okay, freaking ramen chip. <laughs> zero, zero fatty, zero, zero things with prime. Spacebar, oh, it works. Okay, this is the, oh, mic. This is the Alpine 65 prototype. Aluminum plate, uh, used both sheets of foam that was provided. Cream packers lubed with Trebosis 303, switch foam with TX foams, uh, cream packers with the alpaca spring and the GMK keycap set. Keep in mind, spacebar is being cucked by the plate right now. Hopefully, I've been told it's fixed for production, but on my unit, it is cucked. So this is not representative of what the spacebar actually will sound like. Erin Janier, thanks for the prime sub. No redos? Have you taken any 120 film photos yet? Yes, I have. This is what this board sounds like. We do. do. Oh, this feels so weird. It's so short to travel. This is so short, holy moly. Okay, last one. Okay, last one.
this is this the the travel's way too short. I can't type on. I'm not used to this. Uh, one one nine. No one guessed one one nine. The, the, the short travel combined with an even shorter space travel. I can't type on this. I can't type on this. Okay. Uh, let's go through the mods. <laughs> you know what the mods sound like. Fillmore, I think there's a two months. Uh, Huddy Buddy was a two months. Yeah, this is just clipping. <laughs> Doubters, talks up. I will say the switches themselves sound good. I think I'm going to use these cream packers in a different build since I can't use this unless I get a replacement plate sent out. Uh, this sounds pretty muted though. I did, I so I was exposed to cream packers with a, I think it was in Lull Stax's Ogre. Was it in this Ogre? It was at the meetup and that build with the cream packers sounded really nice. I'm gonna say those sounded nicer than in this build. Mm, this definitely sounds... Oh, this is pretty muted, with, but we use both sheets of foam. I feel like... I feel like building a keyboard these days with both sheets of foam, unless you're looking for a quieter, muted sound, it kills a lot of the sound. In terms of a typing feel, this board pretty stiff. I mean, I don't think I saw any flex cuts. This is overall a pretty stiff typing experience. Board doesn't sound too hollow, but there's it's filled with foam. There's the board. Um, observe the casino ground one last time. What? <laughs> I will say, I still don't like this layout. After seeing it in person, I absolutely hate one new mod clusters. This is not for me. <laughs> Considering I rarely use these, I want them to look nice. I'm not a fan of one new clusters. Uh, if you use... I also rarely use these keys, so I can't speak much on functionality of this. If you like, if you use them, I guess you use them. In person, I don't think it looks as bad as it did in the renders. I know I, I flamed on the renders a bit, but in person it looks nicer. Uh, bezel's a little too thick for my taste. I mean, okay, I'm not against thick bezels. But I feel like for thick bezels to work, I have to like the board. I don't know if this is on that level yet. Like Rama uses very thick bezels too, but I like Rama boards. This one's pretty thick though. What is the price point of this? I actually don't know. Uh, 315 plus shipping plus fees. 
315 plus shipping plus fees uh 315 it's not a terrible price i guess compared to vega i will bring out the vega in a bit let me do one more typing test i want to get a better feel for these one typing test i cannot formulate an opinion after one typing test one more typing test Icon, thank you so much for the Prime. Emmy Bell, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Fill more with the tier one, thank you, thank you. Damn, I really cannot do <laughs> short type, short travel. This has nothing to do with the board, by the way. This is just a switch that I use. The travel distance is so short. Holy moly. All right, let me bring up something. Uh, all right, people are saying bring up the Vega. Uh-oh, uh-oh. for the Vega. All right. We've got two 65% here. This is the Alpine. This is the Vega. Yeah, so you can definitely see very different design languages. I personally like the Vega looks. I'm I'm still not a fan of this weight after seeing it in person. This weight, I much prefer the uh, the Vega weight. But I mean, this is an aesthetic preference. If you like the weight, you like the weight. Uh, this has USB-C centered, which I also like. This is, I mean, I'm I don't really pick a board depending on where the USB port is. I think this is fine. I would have preferred middle, but also given this weight, I don't know if they could have put it in the middle. Uh, I will say this is way too recessed though. I, I'm pretty, let me bring a cable. I'm pretty sure this won't fit some of my cables. I've got a fat boy cable here from cable car design. Yeah, it's not fitting. <laughs> There's not enough clearance there. Um, so yeah, I would have liked to see the USB ports sticking out or not so recessed. I feel like this shouldn't be an issue anymore in 2020. Typing experience and configuration, I mean, that's all preference. 
Can I really dock a board off or a designer for not offering a preference that I like? I don't think I can. Maybe this person likes a stiffer typing experience and that's okay. AI likes a slightly softer typing experience and this is more to my taste. Yeah, this is much more comfortable to type on than this. Sound comparison, not that it means anything. This is built with creams, cream pockets. But if you guys were curious, Yeah, so this sounds pretty muted, I would say. Pretty muted. Uh, this price point is hard, but the price point difference also is massive. Uh, the Vega in stock is 300, sorry, group buy was 329. So it's, slight, it's like $10 more expensive, but at the same time, Vega has at least to public knowledge more than twice the unit count of the Alpine. So Vega is breaking into very, it's breaking into a price point, which is obviously nice. Their, their quantity is through the roof in terms of how much uh, Kevin Plus and AI are working on. So I feel like, I don't think 315 is a bad deal per se, but I don't think there's anything exceptional about the typing experience or the layout, if you like the layout, if you like the aesthetics, go for this. Alpine is limited, but that's normal. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm, not, I'm not blaming anyone for having a low unit count. I'm just saying when talking about price point, it is something to consider. Vega, Vega in total will be producing over 2000 units, <laughs> right? They're in stock, how many? They had a thousand units in stock first. And then they're running a group buy for it, which they have announced that will be bigger than the in-stock unit count. So overall, the Vega total over 2000 units, which is not comparable to the 400 unit count of the Alpine 65. Thousand units sold out in like three, 15 seconds. Yeah, it's insane how much Vega sold out. All right. If you guys like this board, it will be available for purchase, group buy at least, today at 9 p.m. Pacific time on Bitmap's website. If you type in the exclamation build command, it should link you to their website. This was the Alpine. And they have confirmed the stab cutouts will be fixed. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. Should be fine. Raid Huey? Dude, you know, you know something's wrong if Huey aligns with me. <laughs> I never align with Huey. I'm streaming too much. I need a break. Feels bad. Uh, all right, anything else you guys wanna see about this keyboard before we, I need to go eat. Grace, I mean, not Grace, Grace was here too, but Amber, hello. Hopefully you're enjoying the keycap set. Drop test? Opinion on Alpine versus D65? The D65 is a much different price point though, no? What did the D65 retail for? D65. Oh no, wait, D65 was way more expensive than I thought. What? Ooh, interesting. Between the D65 and Alpine, man. <laughs> I'm gonna say layout, I prefer D65. I, yeah, I don't, I don't like this layout. <laughs> this layout is not for me, but it's okay. That, it doesn't have to be for me. The designer probably designed this for themselves. In terms of weight design, 
I'm gonna say I like the D65 weight design better too. This is the D65 for comparison. I mean, it doesn't have as cool of a logo. I really like the logo of the Alpine. I feel like it was just executed. They, they added all this fluff around it. If they had just stuck with the logo, it would have been fine. But D65 and this, I mean, they both have foam options. They're both hot swap and they're both super stiff. I don't think you're really missing out on either in terms of typing experience. Between the D65 and the Alpine, typing experience is pretty much the same. Acoustics, if you add the foam, they're both muted. <laughs> Just go with the one you like the aesthetic of better. Aesthetic and layout, whichever one you guys like better, they're pretty much the same price point. Yeah. <laughs> this D65 logo is boring. I do agree that D65, I mean, it's not as flashy as the Alpine. So that's what I'm saying. Between the D65 and the Alpine, literally go with the one you like better in terms of aesthetics. If this looks nicer to you and you like this layout, get it. If the D65 logo and aesthetics and layout is more your taste, go with that. Uh, I think I'm caught up with all the... Yes, I am. What are the key switches on the board you have connected right now? This exclamation keyboard. That are the that's the specs. Wait, why did it just double? Oh, it did not. Okay, I am streaming. <laughs> I'm streaming tomorrow as well. Yes, I am. I have not been cucked by shipping for tomorrow. So stream tomorrow. I don't know what time yet. Don't know what time yet, but we'll be streaming tomorrow. Anonymous things for everything. Koji a sub. Get lost of rest and drink water. Thank you. I no, I can't rest. I have so much to do today. Mm, let's go give Mr. Huey a raid. Oh, it's man of interests. Whoops. What is he doing? He is building. Oh, he's lubing switches. All right. Oh, no, no, wrong, oh, wrong username. He's looping switches. Um, if you guys are interested in keyboard history at all, Man of Interest is definitely one of the folks to talk to. Can you read all of Geek Hack and turn it into an audio book? Teha OMG. Teha Types Raid. All right, this is the spam message. Can you read all of Geek Hack and turn it into an audiobook? Yeah, Huey, hopefully you guys know who Huey is. He deserves a lot more recognition in the hobby. He's one of the early, uh, early folks who I met in the hobby and has helped me out a lot too. He's a nice guy. Also organized, well, used to organize the NorCal meetups when they happened. No meetup this year, obviously, <laughs> so. Learn lots from him. He is definitely a great guy to talk to. Show him some love. It was his birthday recently too. It's past, I think it's, <clears throat> it was last week or two weeks ago. But yeah, have fun in his stream. I'm gonna get lunch. Need to work. Uh, I think that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out and see you nerds.